Hey guys and gals, Polly Jr. here and welcome to Undermine, which is out on Steam Early Access. I'll put a link down below in the description. You can check it out for yourself if you like what you see here in this video. And the game just came out on the 20th of August. I'm recording this on the 21st and it is on sale right now. Uh, I think normally it's $14.99, 10% off at the time of this recording. It is available for Windows, Mac and Linux, and it is a single-player action-adventure roguelike with a bit of RPG tossed in. Adventure deep into the Undermine. Discover powerful relics, deadly enemies, hidden secrets, and a few friends to help along the way. So yeah, it's um, kind of a hybrid roguelike uh, dungeon crawler with pixely art. Um, and you, uh, you basically start out with one of these little peasants here. You progress into the, you go into the dungeon, and you get as far as you can, and you unlock some characters that'll help you, like a blacksmith, uh, and they come back to your base, and if you do happen to die, there is permanent death, but then you'll take over another one of these peasants and jump right back in again. So all of the peasants are lining up, jumping into the mines um, to get this done. So we're going to start a whole new game. And here we are with our first peasant, Robin. And we got to go see the wizard. Of course we got to see the wizard. Everybody wants to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of... Uh, Arkanos, the Archmage. Peasant, I have an important task for you. I've heard that before, sir. <laughs> As you have noticed, this mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes. I need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors. Okay. And there is another thing. There always is. Our blacksmith has gone missing, and without him, the forge lay dormant. If we are to delve deep into the undermine, we will need someone to forge new equipment. Find the blacksmith and the source of the tremors. Now off with you, peasant. Take this key and unlock the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. Very good. Thank you very much, sir. And now our adventure begins with Robin, our first adventurer. And can we look at Robin? Oh, we can't look at Robin yet because we have to pick up the book. <laughs> all right, snatch up the book. A first artifact discovered is a journal. And now we can read all about Robin. Keep that journal with you. Refer to it if you ever seek an answer to a question. All right, thank you. Let's have a look right here. So here's Robin, our first intrepid peasant going into the dungeon to uh, check into the source of the earthquakes and to find the blacksmith. That's our mission number one. And you can see that uh, he's got some stats here and this will increase over time. And he's got a bunch of starting equipment here to help him in his in this endeavor. Time in the undermine so far, a minute and 11 seconds. Gold and thorium, we haven't found any of that. We can find relics, potions, and blessings. And we have a bestiary here. Uh, up to 43 different critters to find down in the dungeon. And we have relics. Of course, we haven't found anything yet. So all of these are just silhouettes, potions, and blessings, and curses. You have yet to be cursed. Thank goodness. All right, let's go. Without further ado, we're going to jump down into the dungeon. Can we peep this? We can peep the table. Looks like a merchant stand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I know we're going to unlock the... Um, we have to go find the blacksmith. And this is the blacksmith shop. And right now it is dormant, as the wizard had said. Uh, it's cold and lifeless here. Uh, can we bust... Oh, wow. Oh, we can wreck this stuff, but I don't think there's anything in them. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go down and try to find this blacksmith and get him back to work. And we'll be able to purchase stuff from the blacksmith when we come back up here um, well, on subsequent runs, essentially, if we die. This guy dies and we get a new a new peasant. See, we got a laboratory here. Oh, we can knock. Hello? Baba the Alchemist. Go away. This laboratory is closed. Baba, let me in. Go away. This laboratory. Okay. <laughs> so that's Baba. I don't know when we get to... Um, meet him, but let's unlock and let's jump into the hole and let's get going. Bump, ow, the gold mine. So we're in the gold mine, level one. Let's get started. Now the, uh, the 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 mines apparently are completely procedurally generated, and we have a little canary here, by the way. And I think the canary provides light, or maybe that's my lantern. I don't know. The canary picks things up and stuff. I did play for a few minutes just to get my uh, recording um, software set up for the game. Um, we got a little tutorial here. This is a hole. My first time here, I fell right in. Twice. Uh, you don't die if you fall in holes, but you do take a little damage. Now, we don't... Uh, you just gotta get the timing right. We did it. Oh, here's a rat. Our first enemy. And we can kill him with our pickaxe. And melee him, or we can right-click. Yes. Oh, right. Shift. Right. Shift. Well, I have my mouse button uh, mapped to that attack, which is pretty sweet. Oh, gosh. I just turned out the lights. 
Let's move on. So we have a little uh, uh, mini map. Now. Watch out! Oh, it's not lit. It's all good. It's for us. <laughs> uh, so now we can use the bomb here. That's what it says here. Use K to drop a bomb. And we want to get it right about... Well, let's see if we can get it. Uh, we want to get, the, get the, the skeleton. Wow! Okay, not lit. Huh, that's crazy when they do that to you. Um, we got a key. We got to get through that door. And this guy right here... Oh, you can peep him, but he doesn't have anything on him. Yeah, those bombs, um, they, they come down from the sky sometimes and they're unlit, but I'll tell you what. If you see a bomb falling from anything or any time in this game, run away first. Um, safety first is the key. All right, now what do we do here? Right control. Okay, right control. We'll throw the weapon. we got to kill this uh, fly. Bang! Killed him, and now we can move on. So this does kind of give you an indication of what might be around the corner. Sometimes it shows things that might have been... Um, because I bought some special glasses. Uh, we might get to that today in this episode if we get that far. But anyway, here's a goal. we got to grab the goal before these little guys. And if they... Oh, dang, dang it. Get out of here. If they do get the goal, just punt them. And, uh, <laughs> you can... And they'll drop it. But they steal stuff from it, the little stinkers. So, ah, saw first. Get out of here. They don't do any damage. They don't attack you. But they do steal your stuff. They're pilfers is what they are. Um, are they in the bestiary, I wonder? Oh yeah, there they are, right there. The slime of the weak spot for gold. And then we have our rat. Shows the attack, and I guess that's the damage that that attack does. It's physical damage, and their health, and there's that little basic fly. All right, cool, like it. Really fun so far. Now let's, uh, let's move on. Where do we have to go here? Oh, up, okay, to the north. What's that? It looks like shoes. Float boots, walk on air. Oh my gosh, our first relic, guys, allows us to walk right... Oh, is he floating? He's literally floating. <laughs> Robin is floating, and he can still hop. Oh, that's amazing, and it's permanent. It's permanent for this character right here. Now, should Robin perish in the dungeon, all the relics fall on the ground, and uh, you lose it. But you do get to keep some of the gold. I think the parenthesis... Yeah, right here, kept. So that's how much gold would be kept if he does happen to die down here. Hopefully, you can collect a little more gold than that and maybe even find the blacksmith. Good luck, peasant. Oh my gosh, we're not even in the dungeon yet. <laughs> that's just the tutorial dungeon. All right, let's go. Whee! Ow, that hurts every time. Even with my floaty boots. Those floaty boots are going to be amazing. I'm, I'm assuming we'll be able to fly right over um, those pits. And I fall into pits all the time, at least in my first run through now we have one bomb i think we can we can blast this well i know we can let's blast it because there might be some secret behind it no not in this case but i have found stuff behind those gates those cracked doors oh get out of here i already got the goat so it's a good idea to use the bombs on those you can of course use your bombs against enemies oh gosh these little flies right here Ooh, stop killing all the lights dang it they um they shoot at you so you gotta watch out for that Ah. <laughs> this pickaxe does horrible damage, but we can upgrade it eventually. Grab all the cash and watch out for those blades. Get out of here. Let's grab this cash right here. Hopefully it doesn't go toward the blades because they look kind of scary. Oh, <laughs> did the blade hit that slime? That was epic. All right, I think we can get rid of that stuff. Uh, we got something down here. It's the golden slime. Hi, buddy. He's a merchant. Get out of here. I get it. Those little green slimes are working for this guy. That's where he gets all his his uh, his wares. So this guy does sell random items. A bag of bombs for 150. We don't have money for that. A fish kebab for 100. Uh, we don't really need that right now because I think it's instant. And we don't really need the health. Um, and a bag of plenty. We can't afford that. So we can really only afford the fish kebab. Um, we'll, we'll probably find some food, and if we don't, we can always come back and buy that if we, if we're more damaged. Right now, I think we're in pretty good shape, so it's not really worth spending that cash. So let's just wreck all of his decorations, and let's move on. Up we go. Goodbye. We might go back there, should we need any chow. Uh, there's something up here. What is that? I don't know what that symbol is. If you, if I get, whoa, what is it, little dudes? Get out of here. Ow, mushrooms. Oh, they push me around. They push you around, even with my uh, floaty boots. That's interesting. Bombs. Oh, I just did exactly what I told you guys not to do. When you see a bomb, run first. <laughs> Assume the worst. 
Now that bomb right there was planted, and we're gonna drop it here, blast through that wall. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the blacksmith. Yes, there he is! I've already done this at least one time. Hi, buddy! It's Wayland. Oh, hey there, friend. Name is Wayland, and I'm the blacksmith. Was just down here picking some mushrooms when one of those quakes caved the entrance in. Eh, uh, it's cool. I got a prescription from the apothecary for these. Really appreciate you blasting me out of here. Drop by my forge if you find yourself up top. I'll kit you out in all the best gear. I can also craft any blueprints you find laying around. You may even find one in that chest over there, free of charge. All right, see you soon, pal. Uh, probably not, because the only way I get out of here is upon death. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you can afford it, I suggest buying that pickaxe on the rack over there. Did a fine job on that one. Okay, see you again soon. So there he goes. There goes Whalen. He's going to go up to uh, the base, and he's going to be the blacksmith. And he's there permanently now, which is great. Ooh, what is that? It's like oil. Um, so he's always going to be there. Even if we die with this particular character, our future peasants will have access to the blacksmith. So there is definitely some persistence to this roguelike, which is cool. Sturdy pickaxe. Well, we definitely want to buy that. And that's going to upgrade our pickaxe. And we get some swing damage, and that's attached to the pickaxe. So it's that is character-based. That is not permanent. Open it up. This one's safe. It is a, uh, it's a recipe. Uh, blueprint. Whalen's boots, which we can craft. Uh, Whalen can craft for us. But, like I said, I don't think we can get out of the dungeon with this guy. The only way out is, uh, via death. So, we kind of want to avoid that if possible. Oh, look! I don't have a bomb, and he can't break that open, but... There could be something back there. I have found secret rooms in the past behind those things. Ah, uh, they closed the door on us. That means we're going to have a little battle here. Get out of here. Uh, someone's still shooting at me? Oh, this guy. God dang it. All right. One thing I don't like about this is... Oh, there's a key. Grab it. Um, at least one of my initial complaints is that when you throw your pickaxe, it only throws in the direction you're looking, not at the cursor. I would much prefer if you were able to stand in one spot and kind of throw... In, uh, in any direction. That would have been way better. But, well, that's a design decision that I don't particularly care for, but hopefully the developer will take feedback and maybe work on that. Oh, boy, look at that bomb in there, but we don't have a bomb to get it. Yeah, they can't shoot through those stones, for Can we just bake this thing out of the way? No. Stones is permanent. All right, come on over here, buddy. Oh, watch out. Watch out. They can't shoot through the stone. Ah! That was a pretty good hit. Now we're doing a little extra damage. Ow! Oh, you! Dang it! Kill that dude! Man, they're tough. Took a lot out of us. Right, they're not going to come around this corner, unfortunately, so we're going to have to just rush them. Rush them! Zigzag! And jump! I think if we jump, can we avoid these? Just don't worry, we have a little spikes in the ground. There's spike traps all over the darn place. Ha! <laughs> ha! All right. Now, let's uh, grab the gold. That was a painful battle right there. All that cash. Don't let those stinkers get it. Uh, we don't have a bomb to get in there, so maybe we can find one. Oh, we do have a key, though. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. You can see that down there. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's a claw of some kind. Dylan's claw. Deal even more damage when you critical strike. Oh, there's criticals. Okay, I didn't know there were criticals. I guess we just, that just happens when it happens. Very nice. All right, we're down to 94 health. We could run back and buy a fish for, what was it, 100? Probably worth it if this guy can get a little bit farther. You know what? Let's hold off. Let's hold off on spending our cash right now. We might be able to find some food here. Oop, can't get through there. Uh, we might find some food anyway, and then we can heal up that way. But I'd rather have the cash for later because it might be important to have. When we get back to the blacksmith. Could be. Ow, dang it. I'm gonna remember to jump around, jump around, jump around. Ooh, you can't shoot while you're jumping, though. That's a shame. Oh. <laughs> oh, short range. <laughs> short range. <laughs> Way too short. Way too short. This guy doesn't have a melee attack, I don't think. Can we bust that open? Nope. It looks like we're gonna need a bomb. Hey, buddy, you got a bomb? I found a bomb bag. He did. He had a bomb bag on him. A whole bunch of bombs. Three bombs. All right. Bombs away. Watch out, little canary. 
Alright, now we can access this thing and run away, run away. There's been bombs in there before. Oh, dang it! No, no! Oh, you little... I, dang it! Uh, you got away with a little bit of cash, but that's alright. Oh, there's something here. Sparkles! Sparkles means there's something back there. Drop a bomb and run. Bam! Secret passage! Alright, careful now. Question. Oh, it's another uh, treasure chest. And we have two bombs left. Um, but we don't have a key for this. So, we're gonna have to find a key and come back. Alright, are there keys inside the grass, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I missed that one. Grab it. Nothing. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any keys around here, so it looks like we're gonna have to go find a key and come back. Alright. Good enough. Let's go. Um, thinking about buying that fish, actually. We might as well do it while we're here. Okay, down we go, level three, and I think the boss is on level three. And if we defeat the boss, the boss is always defeated. So the bosses do not come back, even if you happen to die. Um, they will be gone forever. Let's go down here. Blue slimies, oh, those stinkers, I don't like these guys. Oh, look, there's, uh, there's exploding barrels here, watch this. Okay, if we can get these guys, oh, spikes, ah, spikes. Oh, spikes don't... I don't think spikes affect me. Oh, look at that. It causes fire. It causes fire. That causes fire. <laughs> oh, yes. The spikes do they do affect me, even with my little booties. Oh, there's a key. All right. We killed the dude, and now all the doors open up. And we have one key, and we're down to 48 health. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, hopefully this guy can last. Oh, look at what we got here. It's a new guy. Hi, guy. What's your name? Requires a special key. It's Dodson. Don't bother. It's locked tight. I let that wizard bamboozle me into coming down here. And look where it got me. If you help me out of here, I can help you out too. I have some useful skills. Being a bombsmith and all. He's a bombsmith. Ooh, we gotta get the bombsmith out. The only problem is um, I don't have the proper key. So let's uh, unlock this one. Let's go through the locked door first. There's a chest over here. Interesting. Oh, what is that thing? It looks like a tentacle or a hat. It's a salamander tail. I was not right. <laughs> you get three choices and the first two don't count. Salamander tail. Chance on hit to ignite your enemies. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, how many relics can you actually hold? I don't know if there's a limit, but look at that. We now have three. So, pretty cool stuff. Let's go back. And I guess we'll go down here. Mushrooms. Hold on, Dodson. We just gotta find the the proper key. Oh gosh, he closed the door on us. Uh, okay, opened it back up again. So what do we got here? We have bombs, which are nice. We have a protein shake. Drop some protein. I'm not sure what protein is. And a ham shank stores a large amount of health. Ooh. Uh, how do you pass up a ham shank? Let's buy it. It's not that much health, to be honest. And now we have no money for the next guy. Ten whole gold. Well, hopefully we can find some more. Keep looking, because I know we're going to run into the boss down here. Oh, no. Oh, that's the boss. He's a fake gold mine, and now... <laughs> oh, that's bad. This guy's a brute. Oh, boy. Ow! Oh, man. That really hurt. Ow. Ow, again. Okay. Okay. When he stops rolling, we might be able to attack him. Drop a bomb on. Ow! Yep, yeah, we're done. There's no way we can be defeat this guy. He's just too dang strong. 11 health. You really need a lot of bombs for this guy. Ow! Dang it. Yeah, we're done. Oh, yes we are. I should have saved that cash. I should have saved the cash, but I couldn't resist the ham shank. All right, well, dude, I'm dead. What are you doing? Okay, Robin has died. Smashed by a sentient rock. Survived by his loving husband. <laughs> and it shows all of his deeds. Oh, here's all the enemies vanquished. Do we really have to watch that? This rock defiling my corpse? Um, there's the enemies that Robin had defeated. And the relics collected. And the schematics collected. And the time played. All that jazz. So now we go back. We got a new peasant. Uh, oh, that's the blacksmith. He's going to go down into his forge. And look at that. Forge is back in operation. Let's go say hi. Unfortunately, we just spent all of our money on a ham shank. 
Oh, hey, it's my bud. You a bit taller now? I mean, you're definitely not as colorful. He doesn't recognize us. Anyways, thanks for giving me a hand out of that cave. I've cleaned up the forge and have some new wares on display. Check them out. All the finest quality, I promise. If you buy something, I'll supply it to you and all of your buds. You know, in case you... Well, you know. Also, I can craft relics. If you come across any blueprints in the mines, bring them my way. See? We should have saved the money. We could have bought... Yeah, we wouldn't have had enough money for anything. Maybe the, uh, the hand covers which increases range damage. So yeah, and this stuff is permanent. Like he said, if we buy something here with this character and, and he dies, uh, Sadver, then uh, it does get um, handed down to the next peasant that takes his place. So, and that's how you get better over time and uh, improve your chances down in the dungeon. Now we do have, um, we do have a recipe. Can we craft it? Wayland's boots. No, we can't. We need that those purple rocky things. So, yeah, I don't know where to get those. Obviously down in the dungeon somewhere. Um, that's a really nice pickaxe. A tempered pickaxe. Yeah. So, that's pretty much uh, undermine, guys. Peasant, I've gathered some special items that may help you in the undermine. Feel free to use the gold you mine to pay for them. They will, of course, remain company property. Do not fret, though. Your canary will ensure they are passed on in case you meet your end. Oh, gee, thanks. That's comforting. So, yeah, this is... We should have saved some money. Yeah, so this guy sells some things here. Uh, like glasses that peep the names and health of your enemies. Oh, that's cool. Gecko's foot. Pick up gold at a distance. And yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so it does, uh, does behoove you to continue to improve and uh, better your chances here. Improve your chances down in the dungeon with the, oh wait, did we get to keep the sturdy pickaxe? Well, 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 we did get to keep the uh, the upgrade. Very nice, I didn't know that. So that does get handed down, cool. All right, well, anyway, that's Undermine, link down below in the description, check it out, it's early access, there's gonna be more content added to the game. All right, that's it for now, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day, bye-bye.